like we created an HVAC load schedule, in the same way we will create an HVAC ventilation schedule. The purpose for the schedule is for defining how much outdoor air is required by each space or these toilets, how much exhaust we need to take. For that, you can follow the same steps. You can go to the project browser. Click on this schedules and quantities, new schedules. I'll type S. Click on this spaces. Click OK. What I need, I need level. Name and number. Space type. Then we need people ventilation. It's a heading. We need the occupancy unit. Number of people. Outdoor air per person. Person outdoor air. So it is this parameter is not available in this field. It's a calculated parameter. You have to cal you have to create it, okay, by multiplying the number of people and outdoor air per person. Once you multiply that, you'll get the person outdoor air. So this will see how to how to create this parameter. Here, from here also you can create, or after creating the schedules, you can create uh, that parameter. So if I show you here, here we have an option called add calculated parameter. Okay, so why why we are uh, doing this? Uh, because we are following the same standard from ASHRAE that uh, outdoor air is equal to people ventilation plus area ventilation. <clears throat> In the people ventilation, you have to multiply the outdoor air per person into number of people. You will get the people outdoor air, right? When you, uh, how much area, how much air is required by one person into number of people. So you'll get the total people ventilation, right? So for that, we are where we have to create this person outdoor air parameter plus area ventilation. So once you multiply outdoor air per area, into the total area, you will get the area outdoor airflow. So this also you have to create as a calculated parameter. Okay. So once you get all these things, you will get the outdoor airflow, right? Once you add these two. Now, I'll click on this calculated parameter. Here I'm writing what it is person outdoor air. Person outdoor here it's a hvac it's a, what is the type it's an airflow what is the formula you have to multiply number of people multiply sign then outdoor air per person person outdoor air it will come right <clears throat> then we have to go to outdoor air per area that we already have this parameter in the schedules. Then we have area parameter. So area will have at the bottom or area outdoor airflow. So area outdoor airflow, again, we don't have this. If you check this area per person or, so you will not have this. It's a calculated parameter. Once you multiply outdoor air per area into the area, you'll get this parameter. So again, you will create this parameter area outdoor airflow it's an hvac parameter hvac discipline parameter type is airflow formula is outdoor air per area multiply area okay click okay then again click okay you'll get the area outdoor airflow the last parameter we need outdoor airflow that you will be having in this Let's search over here, outdoor airflow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just add this and click, click on okay. You will have the 
HVAC ventilation schedule. Okay, first the first thing that you can do is you can rename this HVAC ventilation schedule. Then you can make it at the center. You don't have to define the space type again and again. These are already defined when we have created the HVAC uh, load schedule, right? So you don't have to define it again and again. The occupancy unit also you don't have to define. It will automatically take. <laughs> okay. Now what you have to do is you have to group the parameters. You have to group the parameters. Like in people ventilation, we have four um, four parameters, right? From occupancy unit to person outdoor air. You can group them. And I'll write here. What is that heading? We have people ventilation, right? People ventilation. People ventilation. Similarly, you can group these two that is with the heading area ventilation <clears throat> i'll write here area ventilation and you can make it bold people ventilation area ventilation and also you can apply the colors right okay so once you uh, have set these values you can check your outdoor airflow right okay one thing also we need in this one that is the exhaust we have not defined how much exhaust we have to take from the restrooms that is the toilet okay so Exhaust calculation uh, in Revit does not happen automatically. You have to specify by yourself. <clears throat> okay. So uh, what you can do, go to the properties browser, go to the fields tab here. When you type exhaust, specified exhaust airflow, right? Actual exhaust, when you will place the air terminals, then it will take, right? You don't have to manually put it. In that case, you have to select the specified exhaust airflow. Okay, then we have here specified exhaust airflow. So I'm aligning this to the center. And again, you can do the same setting like uh, if I don't want those uh, units. Okay, if you don't want the units, you can hide the units none okay you can hide them you can change that uh, up to uh, i need up to two decimal places okay that's okay now uh i want to specify the exhaust so exhaust will be taken only from the uh from the restrooms from the toilets how much we have to take how much we have to take go to the floor plan here you see we have men's and women's right as per asherist standard the exhaust ventilation from the toilets taken as per the fixtures what fixtures wc and urinals if i talk about this men's toilet we have one wc and three urinals right so as per the asherist standard from one urinal we have to take it, uh, firstly, we have to check either it's a public toilet or it's a private toilet. So if I open the standard, this is the standard that we have. Minimum exhaust rates. So there are different occupancy category. We are looking for toilets. Private and public. So it's a public toilet in our case. It's a public toilet. So for public toilet, the unit the, these are in cfm and these are in liter per second okay if when you check this this is in liter per second this is in cfm per unit okay both are same but the units are different so for public how much it is 25 public 35 we'll go with the higher rates because it's a public toilet that means 35 35 liter per second per unit okay generally for uh 
urinals we take uh, for wc we take 35 liter per second and for urinal it is 15 liter per second okay or you can take uh, 25 also because it's a minimum value minimum value that we have to take so for urinal i'll consider 25 liter per second and for wc i'll consider 35 liter per second okay so that means when you we have three urinals so 3 into 25 that is 75 plus 1 wc that is 1 wc it is 35 liter per second so i am getting 110 so for this for this uh, restroom that is for men's i'll take 110 exhaust Similarly, we'll be doing for women's as well. You go to the floor plan. In this women's toilet, we only we only have three WCs, right? So for three WCs, one WC we are considering 35 liter per second. 35 into three, that is 105. So 105 is the exhaust rate that we have to consider for the women's toilet. Okay. So this is how you have to specify the exhaust air flow rates. Now you can uh, also verify this value. Okay, you can also verify this value. See here we have used the same formula number of people. This is number of people. This value, let's say for example, it is X. When you multiply this with outdoor air per person, you will get person outdoor air, right? You will get person outdoor air. And this is your area. <coughs> Let's say it is A, area outdoor air flow. That means outdoor air per, okay, just uh, let me erase this. Hmm. Let's consider it's outdoor air per area. That means let's consider A into B. So A into B will get area outdoor air, right? Area outdoor air. So once you multiply this value to this value, you will get outdoor air flow, right? <clears throat> so let's verify this. Once you multiply 13 into 3.54, 13 into 3.54, 3 we are getting 46. That is okay, right? So once you multiply, let's multiply this value, 0 0.3 into 27. So 0 0.3 into 27, you will get 8.1. That is rounded off to 8.2 area outdoor air flow. Let's add person outdoor air plus area outdoor air. That means column H and column K. When you add column H with column K, you will get column L, right? Okay. So uh, 46 plus 8.2 we are getting 54.2 that is the accurate value we are getting okay so this is how uh, you can verify your flow rates as well for the ventilation schedule and this is how you will create your hvac ventilation schedule